Hi, welcome back to Take and Make Crafts on the Go with Miss Allison. Okay, so this week's craft is something good for Valentine's Day for something that, to decorate your house. And it's just a simple wood plaque. So in your Grab and Go Craft on the Go kit, you'll be getting one of these lovely wooden, um, I guess you would consider it a sign. Um, okay, so you're gonna get that. And you're gonna get a set of markers, all different colors, and you are going to get a paintbrush, and you're gonna just put a little bit of water on your paintbrush to add to the markers. So it's a very simple craft. It's gonna be something that you're gonna be able to make it your own and create whatever you'd like. Now there's a couple of different techniques that I tried. So I colored on the outside of my wood and I added water to have like that kind of faded effect. So it's kind of an interesting technique. And then you could just simply use your markers and just darken it up like this, um, do a solid technique. I did, oh, some dots and I added water so they would spread a little bit. That's an idea as well. You can pretty much do anything. Um, so I gave a little example of what you can do. Um, do all things with love. I created a little bit of rainbow. I created, you know, a heart and the love inside the center. And I thought I would try to do this um, with you. And you're just going to kind of, you're just going to kind of see that effect. See how it's spreading and kind of fading in the uh, in the heart. So I did first pink on the edge, and then I did uh, a little bit of red. So it would have a darker effect. And now I'm just gonna add water to it. Let's see how it goes. And see, it's gonna turn into a kind of a lightish pink. And the love is gonna spread a little bit. Ah, oh, spread the love, I love it. And uh, I'm just gonna keep in doing that and see how it turns out. I'm curious to find out. So there you go. It's kind of like a little bit of a tie dye effect. And uh, so these are watercolor markers. If you had Sharpies at home and you want to do something more solid, you could use those. You could also use paint if you have it handy. I noticed that watercolor paints don't necessarily work that well on this, but the markers do. So there's the spreading a little bit of love. Now after this dries, you can go back in and darken up the love, the word, so you can read it more easily. That's kind of neat. Oh, it's dripping. That's the only problem. You gotta kind of like take it easy on the water. Let me just get a little tissue. Hopefully you have something to dab on there at home. So that's kind of how it looks. Now I'm gonna take I'm actually going to take this and kind of dab it because it's starting to leak. There we go. Now that's kind of how it looks. I think maybe add a little bit more water in the corner here. But you know what? You can write your favorite person in the center of that heart, someone you're giving it to. And let me just see what happens with the rainbows when I color them in a little bit. There we go. It's kind of cool. See that? Kind of spreads it. Now I don't think I'm going to do that with the it's still dripping. <laughs> My apologies. But see, it's kind of cool. But once it's all blended, it's going to look really neat. Now. I'm just going to put a little bit more water on that rainbow and see what happens. Now I think I would go back in after and I would kind of darken up the edges a little bit so it wouldn't be so connected. Just go over it and make it your own. So the other side I did just a plain, I just kind of used my marker and colored in the heart and I wrote something on the top. And I penciled it in, if you could see. So I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna fill that in. 
Maybe I'll do that bright pink again. Uh, maybe I'll do purple, actually. It says, all you need is love. So I'm going to kind of just pencil that, I mean, marker that in. And I do suggest writing it out first if you want it to be precise, especially if you want to space it just right. So you could do both sides of this and write different messages. It's up to you. Now I'd probably go back in after this and kind of make that a little bit thicker. And I'm just going to add that love at the end. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure that out a little bit. All you need is love. So that's it. I mean, you're just gonna make it your own. You're gonna decorate it any way you want. Kind of messed up my E at the end there. I was in such a rush to get it just right. But I think we can make it work. So I'm gonna thicken that up a little bit. Now, I'm not an artist. I like doing crafts, but I'm not an artist. So, basically, that's all you need is love. And you could give this to somebody special in your life. You could um, make it into a hanging. You're also gonna get a piece of twine or ribbon. And you're just gonna kinda, you can hang this in your window. You can hang this on your wall. You can give it to someone you care about, mom or dad, and just kind of make it special, just like that. Now you can definitely add more color to it. You can do that watercolor effect like I just did and uh, see how it comes out. And if you happen to pick up this uh, Take and Make Craft here, uh, after you register for the program, you can go on our Facebook, and share your picture or your share a, a photo of what you've created. And that would be just great. And I would really appreciate that if you did that. And thank you so much for coming today. And I hope that you enjoy this craft and I'll see you next time.